changing field. Uh, so it's new and it's changing rapidly and in a very good way. The trajectory is definitely up. Um, so what I've seen is uh, when I started, your really only options were working uh, privately as a yoga therapist, which is a great option, um, but that's what most people did. Um, but now things look very different. So we have lots of graduates with private practice. I would say most of them do. Um, some of them work in hospital settings, either in mental health settings or um, the VA has been very active lately, uh, which is the biggest hospital system in the US. So um, we've, I've been talking to people who are working at VAs. Uh, I just had a conversation with somebody who was applying for a job with the um, US Capitol Police um, that was over $100,000 a year. I have a student working in an addiction center full time, getting paid by the hour, um, which is interesting, which I uh, hadn't seen that before. Um, I would say across the board, most people are kind of um, having either two to three jobs. Like I, I know somebody that works for a few school systems. So they have a business um, helping children in school systems, and then they have a private practice. You know, I know many other people that have a couple hospital jobs and then have a private practice or work in a cancer center or an addiction center and have a private practice. So I would say, you know, if you're going to give something like the typical yoga therapist, that's what it looks like. And the only thing I'd add to that is uh, we're seeing a lot more um, complementary and integrative medicine groups forming. So some of our students are in them. So they're working with four or five other practitioners uh, in a group setting on cases. So that's what someone could expect. It's a little bit entrepreneurial in terms of you have to get out there and uh, you know, kind of ask for jobs a little bit, um, but it is definitely um, different than it was five years ago. People are actually seeing job listings for yoga therapists, which you know, I'm old, but in my day that was never happening. So it's great to see. Yeah, so, so we see Breathing Deeply students, you know, everyone's different, but people come in at different stages of their life and their own development. Um, we have some students uh, right out of college who got into yoga and they're just, it's like their graduate degree. You know, they're gonna become a yoga therapist. Um, they went to school. They're really interested in being a yoga therapist. And I think that's great because they're just kind of catching the field, right, as it's on fire. So these are the people that are going to be taking it to the future. Um, and then the next group would be uh, sort of, you know, 30s. Um, sometimes people have families, sometimes not, but that kind of age group where people are kind of are really busy and they're finding our programs really accessible. Um, they're usually yoga teachers and they're teaching yoga. Um, and they want to have private practices or maybe work in a school or a hospital. And so they're kind of kind of coming in in that zone and learning uh, mostly online. And that's been working really well um, for them. Uh, we have a kind of another demographic in our school, which is people who have a lot of experience who are kind of um, maybe at the primes of their careers. So uh, therapists, physical therapists, PTAs, chiropractors, all sorts of things. Um, and they're looking to add this to their skill set. They're seeing the benefits of yoga therapy. Most of them do yoga. Uh, some of them even teach some yoga things to people and they just want to codify it all. Um, so that would be another set. Um, and then I would say the kind of last set is people who are sort of finishing their careers and looking for their next one. Um, one of the most popular groups there is nurses, um, sort of getting out of nursing in their early 50s and looking, deciding what they're going to do for the next 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, people retiring from school systems, people retiring from the military, all sorts of people like that who are like, I, what's my next thing? And I'm really into yoga and I want to help people with yoga. Help me. What do I do? So that's kind of our other big demographic. So a yoga therapy session um, can look a lot of different ways, but you know, I'll give you like the sort of typical um, set up. So yoga therapy sessions, you know, there are group scenarios, but a uh, yoga therapy session is one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you can imagine it like the way you might go to a therapist office or a PT's office. You go in and there's your yoga therapist waiting for you. Um, depending on what you're working on, um, there might be uh, different setups, but since we're always prepared to do part of yoga, which is asana, movement, and breathing, 
Um, we usually have that available to us. So um, my office looks like a couch, like, like a therapist. And then on the other side, there's like a yoga mat and all the things you'd expect uh, to see uh, with a yoga teacher. Um, and a session mostly involves uh, the yoga therapist teaching the client uh, practices that are going to be beneficial to them for their condition. So that could be movement, like exercise things, muscle building, you know, stretching, all the things you'd expect, like from yoga, yoga, uh, like you see in the gym. Uh, that could be breathing practices. That could be chanting. That could be uh, meditational practices, either lying down or sitting up and learning how to do those. But the main thing is that you're learning like the set of practices that will help your condition. So that's gonna look a little different depending on condition and depending on each person. Um, so we usually spend about an hour, sometimes they're a little longer or shorter, but usually you'll spend uh, an hour-ish uh, with a Breathing Deeply Yoga Therapist. Um, once they get to know you, you know, you have your plan and they've got a set of practices they're teaching you. And then um, you take those practices and you bring them home and you do them. Uh, how often just depends on your life and the condition and what you kind of come to with your yoga therapist. Follow-up sessions usually look like uh, assessing whether the practices are working and tweaking them either, you know, getting you to do them uh, in a way that's uh, more effective or maybe changing practices that aren't working for you. So uh, over time, you might work with a therapist every week but you could also work with a therapist a few times and then like they might say, well, do these for four weeks and you know, we'll see you in four weeks and we'll tweak them for you. So that, that kind of can look different depending on the condition you're working with. So breathing deeply, yoga therapists treat a very wide range of conditions. We, um, our model is uh, very inclusive in terms of, uh, you know, what you would consider Western pathologies. So we do everything from uh, sore muscles, arthritis, back pain, uh, through mental health, and all the way into chronic conditions. And um, I think the thing that might make us a little different than some programs is we kind of take the yoga all the way. So we go all, all the way into like sort of spiritual uh, conundrums and looking for purpose. Um, so yoga therapy is primarily tasked with work, relieving suffering and we consider suffering like really wide so you can have uh, existential angst on one end and you can have a, a healing broken ankle on the other end and uh, breathing deeply we consider that all in the um, scope of practice um, for working you know a yoga therapist from breathing deeply uh you know they're kind of tasked with treating the person that walks in and that person can have anything going on with them. So what we hang our hat on is our models, which enable us to work with anyone. So we can work with conditions we haven't heard of. You know, sometimes we need clearance from doctors and all those things, but we can work with anything um, versus, you know, if you train to be a PT, you're working with physical conditions, you train to be a mental health professional, you're working with mental health conditions in a certain way. Um, so one of the advantages to being a yoga therapist is that you have like a wider birth, you can work with all sorts of people. Um, and at our school, our models enable you to do that um, in a reasonable way. And we really like to work in tandem with other professionals. So um, we're happy to work alone when it's appropriate. And we're also very happy to work as parts of teams. So if you're thinking about training, you could think about it that way.